Hey guys, this is Julian from the Pioneer Lab. Uh, sitting in my dog, chilling out here in front of the house. I'm gonna, in this video, kind of explain to you the relationship between the stock markets and also the forex markets. And why is this a very good to know topic? Because like, uh, over a week ago, we had like a, a Dow Jones strong crash, okay? And last two days, like uh, Dow Jones kind of took a, took a downturn again, although it's come up a lot, and this recent downturn is nothing compared to the crash earlier uh, in February. But uh, because of that, you know, it's, it's caused like the forex markets to like really tighten up the rhythm. So anyone trading binary during the New York sessions this week would have found that it takes a long, longer time to get a setup, and you know the setups in as good. All right, reversals uh, tend not to perform as well as the breakouts this week. So there are a lot of mini breakouts, which is good. Uh, thank goodness for breakouts, but. In terms of like reversals, it's not been a really good reversals market because it's been very, very sideways. So, um, like I said, I'm going to explain to you the correlation between stock market and forex. So here's the thing: if a domestic stock market uh, is booming, all right, then people want to invest. <clears throat> people from elsewhere want to invest in there. So it's therefore that country's. Um, Currency is going to rise. Example: Dow Jones is up, Nasdaq is up. People see that. People in other countries invest in the USD. They start pumping the USD. USD rises. When the stock uh, when the stock market is down, it's the same reaction really. Like you know, when people see Bitcoin crashing, uh, when people think that like stock market is going to test the bottom. And then they quickly take all their stuff out, change it back to their local currencies or put it elsewhere. And that causes the currency of that domestic market to fall. So Dow Jones, Nasdaq down, USD falls down. And let's say, you know, if you're looking at the USD JPY, you're going to see that USD JPY, uh, people are selling, selling dollar, buying yen. So actually it goes, it actually goes down. All right. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, like uh, if, Japan is status quo, uh, US, NASDAQ, Dow Jones is up, you see a strong rise in the US, the JPY for instance. But is this correlation universal? Um, a lot of people may have noticed over time that, you know, if you're just looking at the stock in stock market index and comparing that with the US dollar index, it's not always universal. However, um, it is still, it still can be regarded because you need to take into account that uh, you, when it's in correlation, when it's not, and when it's in a negative correlation because all these do happen. So if you take into contact these things, right, uh, just, it, it's just like currencies. Like for example, um, the, the Euro USD and the USD JPY, they do have, uh, they do have an inverse correlation. Sometimes it's stronger, sometimes it's weaker. Like USD, uh, USD CHF and the Euro USD, they also have inverse correlation. Um, the Aussie USD, the New Zealand USD, they also have like a positive correlation. But there are times where it doesn't do exactly the same thing. So just take note of the stock market. I mean, that is the general sentiment, that's the general route. But be prepared for, be prepared for like um, different exceptions to the rule as well. When, and exceptions to the rule can happen when there are more assets that are uh, they're more they're more like um, they're, they're more interesting assets for selection for example like depending on the price of brand oil at the time depending on the price of crypto at the time all right now people in the markets have more options so let's say the outflow from one is not necessarily going to boost uh, inflows into other country, uh, currencies directly, it can also branch into different asset classes depending on whether uh, cryptos or metals or, or like uh, other commodities may be more potential at the time. I hope this video serves to give you some insights onto the relations between like uh, forex currency uh, and stock market indices and uh, I hope that helps you out with your trading in forex or binary options. 
This is Julian from the Binary Lab. Bye for now.